how's it going? I'm Lauren and in this video I'm going to show you how to record a video online. If you want to learn how to record your face, your audio, your online screen along with some presentation slides all at the same time then you've clicked on the right video. I'm not going to keep you waiting so let's get straight into it. To get started just click the first link in the description. Now we're on the Veed recording homepage. The first thing we're prompted to do is to choose a layout. So as you can see we've got six different options here so you can just go ahead and choose the one that's going to work best for you. I'm going to choose screen and camera. The next thing we're asked is what we would like to share. Is it an entire screen, a window or a Chrome tab? Again, you're just going to choose what works best for you. I'm going to choose a Chrome tab and then once I've made my choice and click share, I'll be redirected then to that tab and you'll see in blue line surrounds that entire screen. That is just to indicate what is being shared. And if I head back into Veed here, you can see what the outcome is going to look like. Also, if you've got more than one webcam here, you can head to settings and you can just choose your preferred options via webcam or if you have a different microphone. Now I'm going to move on to screen recorder tools here and you'll see we have some options. You can add slides by simply clicking on it and then click upload a file. Give it a minute to upload and you'll see your slides appear here in the left hand column. Now if you don't have slides and you want to go back into your recording tab, just click on screen and do the same as before. Next we have themes. You can have a play around here and see if you like any of these jazzy themes if they're going to fit your project. No worries if they don't because we have some more options for you. You can just go ahead and click backgrounds and here you'll see we've got gradient colors. You can choose a block color or you can even choose to upload a background yourself. And my final tool here, which is my absolute favorite, it's the teleprompter. It's perfect here if you need to give a presentation and you've got an entire script so you don't need to memorize it. All you got to do, copy and paste it in and then you can adjust the speed, the color and the size of the text. Lastly, you can choose whether to make the background light or dark. Now we have everything ready and set to go, we can start the recording. Now once you hit record, you've got three seconds before it begins. So just press play on your teleprompter and give your presentation. And once you've finished, hit stop. Then you can watch it back and here you have another chance if you want to change the theme or the background. And the next step we're going to do is we're going to edit our screen record here to make it more professional. So just go ahead and click edit and then we're redirected to Veed's online editor. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to resize the video of myself. So to do that I'm just going to drag the corners and sides in and out and now that I'm happy with the size I want to make that square into a circle. So in order to do that I'm going to tick round corners here and I'm going to put that value up to 100. Next I'm going to enlarge the screen recording by doing the the same as before, just pulling the sides and corners out and then laying my video over it. Now I want to shorten my video so there's no silence at the end from before where I hit stop. There's a little bit of a gap. So in order to do that, I'm just going to head to my timeline and drag both of those layers over just to shorten it. The next thing I want to do is add subtitles. So click subtitles here in the left hand column, choose auto subtitle, choose my language and then click create subtitles. So I'm going to give that a minute here to transcribe my audio and once it's finished, you will see your subtitles appear above your video in the timeline. Now on the off chance that some of the words are incorrect, it might have misheard, misinterpreted anything that you've said, it's a very simple fix. Just click on the word that's wrong here, delete it and type out the correct word. Perfect. And you just repeat this anywhere else there are errors in your video. Now we can customize our subtitles so that they fit the vibe of our presentation. So in order to do that, we're going to hit the styles tab here and now we can choose any font, any size, any color. And if we scroll down, we also have a choice of effects. One last thing I want to add is stickers. So let's say that our presentation, our online video recording is more relaxed. We want our viewers to be entertained and engaged throughout. Stickers are a great visual element to add. And to do that, all we've got to do is head over to elements here in the left hand column, scroll down and here you'll see we've got a load of emojis, featured stickers and even call outs. So again, you just find whatever works best for you and your presentation. I'm going to choose my sticker and then I'm just going to drag it to where I want it to appear in the video on the timeline. And then to shorten it, all I have to do is drag it in and out to increase or decrease the length of time that it stays on the screen. And if you want to add more stickers, just repeat this process. Now I'm happy with my online screen recording, I can render and export the video. So click export here in the top right hand corner, choose your render settings and click export once more. Now once it's finished rendering, we're going to watch it through once just to make sure we're happy. And the last step then is to choose how you would like to share your video. So we have a couple of different options here. You can click download and download mp4, you can click share, then you can copy the link or you can fill in a recipient's email. You can share it directly to any of the social networks you see here and you can even embed it on a website. The choice is yours. And that's it. That is how to record a video online and edit it using Veed. I really hope you found this video helpful guys. If you did, go on and give us a like, subscribe for more editing content and leave me any comments or questions down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!